Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy you stopped by today. You know, I don't, I always stay away from politics, but I always end up every so often getting into it. But we, you know, my position, we have to stay neutral on these things or we'll never see the truth, right? We have to see neutral or we'll never see the truth. So Marjorie Taylor Greene, this is her numerology. She is, um, for those of you who don't even do politics at all and may not even know who she is, um, she is a, an American far-right political um, U.S. representative for Georgia's 14th Congressional District. She is a conspiracy theory and a member of the Republican Party. She was sworn into Congress November of 2020, so that was just a few months ago. And she was just yesterday, I believe, removed from all of her committee assignments uh, due to some extreme statements she made. So I decided that sometimes numerology answers or has a clue as to who somebody is and what their tendencies are. And then I thought we could also pull some uh, tarot cards. Now, she was born in Mildodge or Mildedgeville. I don't know, Mildedgeville. I'm not sure how to even pronounce that, Georgia. She was born uh, on May 27th, 1974. She's the daughter of Robert Taylor. She graduated from South Forces Scythe High School in Cumming, Georgia in 1992. And then she graduated from the University of Georgia with a Bachelor in Business Administration. So in her speech, she's avid on um, GUN rights. Uh, which we can obviously tell that because here's a uh, picture of her with one. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to look at this woman's numbers to see, you know, what is going on with this woman. Um, she obviously believes in some theor um, conspiracy theories that have been proved to be false. For instance, she said nothing hit the Pentagon and there's plenty of pictures uh, to validate that that was not true. She also had her account suspended from Twitter for a statement that was um, not healthy for people to follow. So if we go back, let's go ahead and, and look at the patterns of her numbers. So her first name begins with a four. And I notice that she's got a couple of ones in here and three nines and a five at the end. And then this is her maiden name. You know, that doesn't grab me. That's a variety. That doesn't grab me. But green, seven, nine, five, 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 five. I'm like, okay, this is interesting. Um, and then Perry, his name, her husband is five, nine, nine in the middle. So she's got a couple of nines there. She's got a couple of nines in her first name. So there's obviously some connection there. Now being born on the 27th makes her a nine. All right. So she was born to work with large groups of people. All right. So that in itself is fine. She was born in the fifth month. You add the five and the nine, that's a 14. So her personal, her personality every day of the week is a five. Now fives are like, they're freedom seekers, right? Well, obviously she's a freedom seeker because no one's going to tell her what to do, right? I mean, this is proves that no one's going to tell her what to do. Um, now, ironically, here comes the five again because she was voted into the 14th district of Georgia. There you do. There you have your five again. Um, in the year 2021, she's in a one year. So she was actually voted in in a nine year, which is in alignment with her um, day that she was born. However, in 2020, when she was born into this nine, she was having a nine year. And how you tell that is you take the 2020, two plus two is four, and you add it to her personality. Four plus five is nine. This is endings. So she was voted in in a year of endings. So even though we crossed over to 2021, she's in a one year now. Um... And then February, I wanted to see if anything special was in the month of February for her. She's in a three month, which is communication. Okay. Now she happens to attach to some of these theories here. And I honed in on the number eight, which is about power. Uh, so this letter um, that comes after P in the alphabet is about power. It starts, you know, so this is, this is group just wants power. And then this um, other group here 
I honed in that there's a couple of eights there and a five at the end, and this other one has a five at the very end. Found that to be unusual. And then her opponent in 2020, this Kevin Van Osdahl, he withdrew on the race on 9-11. I thought, whoa, look at that date. Because she honestly put out there in 2018 that there was no plane that hit the Pentagon during 9-1-1, and that happens to be the date her opponent chose not to uh, to withdraw from the race. And look at that. I mean, there's solid proof. So I'm like, why is this woman believing all these things when the proof is right in front of her? Well, the answers are in numerology, all right? Nine and five are the two numbers that are most susceptible to um, addictive behaviors, right? And they're also susceptible to mind control. Why? Because these are what I call softer numbers. There's the one is a strong number, right? But when you get to two is the softer, three is a little bit soft, four is a strong. She's got a strong personality for the first letter of her name. But five and nine are the are the softer numbers and they are susceptible to addictions and mind control, which is what happened to her. She got, um, and once your mind, once you join a group where other, you know, other people believe the same thing, you're even more at risk as a nine and a five, because now you got a whole group of people and you're like, see, they believe like me. So groups of people are extremely, um, can be extremely influential to someone with a nine as their core and a five as their personality. So she got sucked into that. Um, now, if you want to do a study of people, let's say you love numerology, I have these numerology cards that you can purchase. Um, these are on my website, which is uh, easy to remember. It's www.swear the swear word, tarot, T-A-R-O-T dot com, www.swearTarot.com. They're only $17 plus shipping. That's what all my decks are. Now, let's see where this could help. If we, if we knew that she was a nine and she's unbalanced, we look at a nine on the personality side. So she, if she's balanced in her number, she's a humanitarian and a teacher and she, she wants to serve others. Well, that's Congress serving others. Um, but her weaknesses, she could be moody, self-defeated, makes excuses. She could get resentful. And then if we look, if we go to the five, actually there's one more um, where we could look at weaknesses and that's under space. And even though it's where you live, it still applies to people. So she's going to have emotional upsets and feelings of loss. Well, she did lose, and she's going to have endings. So we've also got that factor playing out. And then we can also go to the five, which is her personality every day of the week, and we can look at where she would be unbalanced. Because if you're balanced, you're, you're going to exhibit your strengths. And if you're not, you're going to exhibit your weaken, weaknesses. So she's going to have relationship challenges, She's prone to addictions. She can be unreliable and scattered. And then if we want to find some other, if she's exhibiting the other negative side of this, then we would look at the space and look at those weaknesses. And here we have addictive behaviors, upsetting events, emotionally challenging, and it's hard for her to establish a routine. So this is just one of the ways that if you're interested in psychology along with numerology, uh, these cards are perfect for that. But I'm going to turn to the regular tarot cards now, and I'm going to ask the tarot cards, what happened to this woman? Um, and I'm going to start with my serious deck, which is um, Universal Weight. Universal Weight is one of the decks that I go to when um, I just want really solid, serious answers. So I'm going to just ask, what's going on with Marjorie Taylor Green with regard to her attachment to conspiracy theories and just the general anger that she exhibited um, and exhibits as part of her personality. She spends a lot of time being very angry and defiant. What's going on with that? So we'll let the cards tell. Um, she's going through an, ex this is the seven of, um, this is, this is actually the seven of cups and it's confusing. 
And so she doesn't even know who she is. Look at this. She doesn't even know who she is. And here's a snake coming up to bite her. She feels like everybody's out to get her. Well, okay, okay, okay. This makes sense. What are conspiracy theories, which I don't attach to because they are so dangerous, you guys. Um, they mess with your mind and seven is the number of your mind. Well, here's a head and here's a head co covered up. I mean, they poison. Here, snakes are poison. Here, this card just tells you what a conspiracy theory is. It messes with your head so that you don't know who you are. You don't, you're not in control of your thoughts. And we have a dark person here, um, me, you know, a shadowy person. What is a shadowy person? Is um, a shadowy person means your shadow side, They, which is what? Fear. So they manipulate your mind like there's fear. Like here comes a snake. It's going to bite you. Oh, here's fear. That's how dangerous conspiracy theories are. If you guys attach to any, really get help to get out um, because they mess with your mind and you're not, you don't even have control of your own mind um, once you adopt to these. So this is your shadow, exhibiting your shadow side, which is dangerous. So she's exhibiting the seven of cups. She's exhibiting her shadow side right now. And then we'll go, that card really told us a lot. So um, this is the chariot. And this just says this is a battle of wills, right? This is a battle of wills. Now, it also, I always look at this card because there's always a medical symbol in here. And I wonder if she's like imbalanced somewhere, like with a mental, with this, I'm serious, in all seriousness, not judging, but if there could be like, she could suffer depression or post-traumatic stress from something that happened in her life. This is the medical card. So it's like, Melanie, she could have an actual condition that she doesn't have control over. So we want to recognize that. Um, that there could be something, I'm, you know, this is just for entertainment purposes only. This reading is not based upon facts. It's a tarot reading and it's my pers personal interpretation of the cards. So that being said, that's my disclaimer. This is just entertainment tarot reading. Um, her world is either dark, it's either this or it's that. It's, it's either this or it's that. There's no in between. And so she opposes She's, it's me. And if you don't think like me, then I'm opposed to you. And then it's the chariot, you know, let the race begin. Right. I mean, she, she doesn't know how to deal with someone who thinks differently than she does right now. She's trying to gain control of her world. That's the, the chariot is willpower. She's trying to gain control over her life. That's what that is. And then we pull the next card here. And, um, this this is someone who's obviously wounded and she's got a pattern of woundedness. Now you guys notice that this is around the head. Notice that the head's covered up. Notice there's just a head in a cup. This woman is under the influence of mind control and mind control is not a conspiracy theory. It is real. It is called brainwashing. It's real. So she is going to go around lashing out at people because she thinks that she has control over her mind. Like, look at her. She's like, I'm all ready. I'm ready with my stick or whatever it is. You know, you can see the defiance in her. I'm ready with my stick, you know, and she's made some pretty um, horrific statements about uh, violence and uh, that has gotten her or that could get her into trouble. And that would be part of this card. I've got my stick ready and I'm, I'm going to, you know, uh, hurt anybody that comes near me. I'm going to pound you with my stick. There's, and, but she's wounded. Her mind, her mind is not her own. She doesn't have her own thinking mind right now. And that's, look at how clear that is. Every, every card, we've got just a head. The head's covered up. We've got the fear shadow side. We, um, there's something on the head here. We've got something on the head here. This guy looks wounded. I mean, this is saying this woman's not, probably not stable right now hate to say that because you know I don't like to be mean to people on my channel ever but I'm trying to state what the cards are saying and you guys I mean you guys look does that look wounded to you does this look wounded to you you can make up your own mind on that all right so what else do we have to know about her so she's gonna have to literally start over in her life this is Ace of Wands. She's going to have, in other words, this is the card, get a grip. She's going to have to get a grip. She's going to have to distance herself from some organization out there. What is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. This is Justice card. Oh, yeah. This isn't going to, this, this just means 
that she's potentially could be involved in some legal situations. This is the justice card, but this is also um, when I asked what institution is she leaving, because I saw one back there, she's leaving the power of the position that she's in. She could very well not be serving out the rest of her term, uh, either through resigning or or possibly getting expelled. Um, she and yet she thinks she's got a lot of tools at her disposal to get herself through this. You know, the magician can be, you know, manipulative. Like you know, and there's the snake again. Remember, the snake doesn't show up very often in the tarot, but the snake is on the belt, and there's a snake headed toward her. So, so she's poisoning herself through, but she can't help it. I don't think she has control over the of the poison that's help in her mind. See the thing floating above her mind? That's energy can never be um, created or destroyed. It can only be harnessed. And I think she's harnessing in a manipulative type of energy, which isn't, isn't really going to serve her purpose. So what, what is going to, um, what's going to be um, the result for this woman? Yeah, she's just she's just gonna she's shutting down and, and look at she's out of that city. Like she got tossed out of the city. So she got she got tossed out of the committee. She doesn't know what to do. She's sitting there all crabby. She's trying to protect what she has left of her self esteem or whatever. And she's just shutting down. She's just shutting down. She's gonna you know, and if she isn't careful about the hateful words she puts out, Twitter could ban her permanently. So I don't know if she's back on again or if they've banned her since, but you know, they suspended her and let her back on maybe. I don't even know. But she's she could get banned permanently if she lashes out and takes the manipulative, angry side. Um, so this is this is somebody that's, you know, we can you know, not that you want to um, learn from her behavior, but I am going to ask the cards. I'm going to use a different deck and say... What is it that we can learn by this whole situation with this woman? What, what is it that we can learn from this situation regarding Marjorie? Yeah, this is cups. This is have, getting your emotions lined up and not allowing um, an outside influence to gain control over your mind. Um, this is the emotions, you guys. We, you need to be emotionally stable um, and this is, there's a lot of vulnerable people here. There's a lot of vulnerable people. And when the truth comes and the truth is being offered, they're not even open to it. See them sitting by the tree? They're like, here, this fact, this fact, this fact. They can't see facts. So the lesson is, is to keep control over your mind and your emotions. And if the more you stay neutral, the more you stay neutral and get emotional maturity, you can achieve the happiest life ever. And you can do this. So think about the, the um, beliefs that you have. And if you belong to any group, if most of the group just speaks negatively, if the group, and I don't care what group this is, it could be even a political party. If all they're talking about is negative crap, there's nothing wrong with taking a break. You could go back to them later when they get their stuff together, if they ever do. But this is about seek out happy groups. This is families. This is communities. This is groups of people that seek out ways to be happy, not ways to be fearful. That's one of the things that people that are conspiracy-based, they like, oh, you're going to have this taken away or you're, this is going to get taken away. Don't buy into that. That is fear-based group beliefs that's going to control your mind and make you sad. So the way to happiness is to find groups with common interests where you can grow your emotional maturity, all right, to, to become emotionally strong. And look at how happy you're going to be. So get involved. You're going to notice a change immediately when you get away from conspiracies. What? Talk about get away. Walk away from these conspiracy groups and hate groups and negative groups. Leave them. And how are you, some people are so wrapped up that they don't, they can hear them speak negative and they're like, oh, they're not speaking negative. And you're looking at them and you're like, are you listening to them? Yeah, I'm listening. That's not negative. They, they have lost that much of themselves. So this could be a process, a step-by-step -step process. And now look, we got another cup. We've got another cup here. You've got, you know, try to detach from these negative groups 
and walk away from them, emotionally detach from them. Even if you've spent a lot of time in these groups, walk away because you're not allowing yourself to have a happy life. So we can learn from this woman. We can learn from this woman um, to create happiness in our own life by emotionally walking away and and physically walking away from groups that are toxic. So that is, that's a good lesson for all of us to think about. Go through and write down some of the people you follow, if they're movie stars, you know, leaders, um, and groups that you belong to. Number one, do they do conspiracy theories? Number two, are they promoting fear, like you're going to lose something or this is going to get taken away? Y- you know, anything that is fear-based, you really need to sit back and look at, um, because all they are doing is projecting fear in you, which is what conspiracies do. So, um Let's all get on the happy, let's get on the happy trails, the happy groups and groups that have like-minded people and and do things that are more positive oriented. And then I think you're going to find yourself on a completely different path. So for the one thing that we can learn from this woman's experience, um, when when I look at her face here, there's emptiness in her eyes. I just, I just don't, I feel like she's hollow inside from something that happened in her past or just, she's just acting out the actions. And uh, this is an earlier picture of her. And just notice the energy, notice the energy in her face and her body language and her eyes, if you can see them. Compared to this, there's something disturbing or sad about this picture. And I can't put my... I can't put my finger on it, but the cards are indicating that this is someone that really does not have control over her thinking mind. She thinks she does. I mean, if she would listen to this, not that she ever would, um, she's going to say, oh, I have control. This is baloney. I have full control of my thinking mind. Well, that's, that's what mind control does to you. That's what conspiracy theories do to you. They, they make you believe that you have control over your mind when you really don't. So... Um, all right. Well, this was the video on this. If you have any comments as far as what you think's going on, I do not allow hateful comments toward anyone. Everybody in life has a, a different path. Some of our paths are wanky and we go down a little bit of a, you know, interesting road for a while, but nonetheless, we're all human beings living on a planet. And that's the way I tend to look at things. So whether you support this woman or don't, remain neutral. Remain neutral on it.